Several local school districts say that they will follow the state's guidance on masks in the classroom. This morning, uh, several local parents against the new mandate are going to be making their voices heard. News 8's Evan Arani is live at the county administration building with an update on the back and forth over these masks here. Evan? That's right, a uh, back and forth it has been with parents uh, definitely uh, chiming in in terms of their opinions on uh, the announcement made yesterday by the California Public Health Department saying that it will be left up to each individual district as to how they're going to be enforcing the mask wearing policy at their schools. Yesterday, parents uh, chimed in on Facebook on the Let Them Breathe group saying that they want the county to uh, make the decision that it will be left up to parents instead as opposed to the district itself. Not really a decision that uh, the county itself can make, but nonetheless, Supervisor Jim Desmond did propose at yesterday's County Board of Supervisors meeting a motion that would allow for parents to make the decision and uh, call to the governor to uh, reconsider the motion that would uh, make it a, a district decision as opposed to a parent's decision. Take a listen to what that motion sounded like. In the name of caring, in the same way that we've cared for the most vulnerable, let's also prioritize the growth and well-being of our kids and let them attend school without masks. I understand we don't have the authority over the state or over the schools, but I, leave, I think we need to do the right thing for our kids. That motion fails with uh, Supervisor Anderson and Supervisor Desmond voting uh, aye, all other supervisors being present and voting no. And again, you heard there that that motion w did fail by a vote of three to two. In response, the group Let Them Breathe says that they will gather outside of the county administration building today to speak in favor of that motion by Jim Desmond. The group also says that they're preparing legal action against, against the state, saying that the state cannot suspend or expel students for not wearing a mask and that districts cannot suspend or expel students, although that point is debated uh, in terms of a, a safety measure. Richard Barrera, the president of the San Diego Unified School Board, says says that while masks will be required for the county's largest school district, that they will work with parents who have concerns about their kids wearing masks in schools. Now, again, that rally is expected to take place at 8 a.m. here. There is a regularly scheduled Board of Supervisors meeting that will take place after that. And uh, so the group that is going to be gathering here today says that they have two points of action. One, of course, being that they want to support Jim Desmond in his motion to call on the governor to change the ruling, but he also the that group also wants to gather in order to say that it is not uh, not legally allowed for those districts to suspend or expel students who choose not to wear a mask in school. Uh, so if uh, you'd like to take part in that or find more information on that, you can also go to our website as well as on Facebook. There's plenty more information on the group that's gathering here today. For now, outside of the county administration building, I'm Evan Irani, News 8.